What's up everybody? In this week's video, I'm going to show you how a philosopher who lived 1900 years ago said some things that have immediate relevance on your life today. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe, hit like, and share this video with others. The whole goal of me doing this YouTube channel is to spread information and ultimately peace. And I believe that the philosopher I'm about to tell you about, the things he taught can actually lead toward your experiencing peace. So who is this guy? Epictetus. Epictetus lived in the first century and he taught this. We're not disturbed by things, but by the view that we take of them. Let me say that again. We're not disturbed by things, but by the view that we take of them. In other words, if I'm driving down the road and someone cuts me off in traffic and I get really upset, it's not the other person cutting me off that gets me so upset. What gets me upset is my view of that. So if when the person cuts me off, I say to myself, I can't stand it when people do that. He shouldn't have done that. Then I get really heated and fired up. But if when someone cuts me off, I can say to myself, I don't like that he did it, but it's not the end of the world and I can handle it, now I'm much more in control. Look, Epictetus taught that the things that he was teaching don't take a lot of explanation, but they take a lot of practice. So he advocated that we all undergo what he called a winter training. And what he meant by that was this, just saying that we need to change our thoughts around is not enough. We have to practice it. What we really need to practice is getting rid of extreme language and instead replacing that with accurate language. So think about how the words always and never and I can't stand it. Think about how those extreme words elicit or bring out really extreme feelings versus more accurate language. So instead of saying you always do that, I'd say, well, you did that twice in a row. Or you never do that. Or I would have liked you to have done that today and you didn't. You see, the more accurate we are with our language, the more balanced we are. <laughs> Epictetus also said that if you come up to him and say, my nose is running, he's going to say, well, then why do you have hands? So first of all, ooh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they didn't have Kleenex brand tissues back then. But, but second, what he really meant by that was, if your nose is running, it's not enough just to say my nose is running and talk about why you have to do something about it. So it's not enough for us just to understand here that we need to try to do our best to avoid extreme language and be more accurate. Instead, we need to actually go through that winter training and practice having accurate language. The more accurate we are with our language, the more we will replace things like, I can't stand it, with the more accurate, I don't like it, but it's not the end of the world, and I can handle it. You see, unless you're talking about something that literally stops you from getting up, then saying, I can't stand it, is simply not true. What is true is that you might not like it, but it's also true that you can handle it. The more accurate you are with your language, the more balanced you are, the more peace you experience. Hey, and if you think you've heard of Epictetus before, it's probably because you've taken a psychology class. You see, there was a psychologist in the 20th century named Albert Ellis who founded something called Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, or REBT, and basically what he did was take everything that Epictetus taught and repackaged it for people in the 20th century and even today. So REBT is a wonderful way to practice learning about your thoughts and learning how to be accurate. The more accurate your language is, the more balance you can have in your life. The more balance you have in your life, the more peace. And if you've ever seen my videos before, you know that above all, I wish you much peace.